hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with an fgo amv reactions okay um now the gameplay portions you know the gameplay events and everything has come to an end i've played fate requiem previously and uh, olympus as well and i think like there's like uh, quite a few months after this which has like reruns happening so there won't be any gameplay fgo gameplay new gameplay so like i'll be able to do these things again you know like reacting to amvs and i think i was also reacting to voice lines which i'll probably resume as well and uh, yeah so here we are and since i've like you know completed olympus i can react to olympus amvs now so this is the first olympus amv that i'm going to react to this has been recommended to me in the comment section if you want you guys want to recommend more amvs to me uh, comment down below and uh, i'll definitely like you know keep an eye on them and uh, like gonna react to them in the future so yeah now let's get started uh, this is an i think this is most probably an fgo olympus amv and uh, yeah let's start so uh, obviously the music will be muted because of copyright i'll be linking down the video that i'm reacting to in the description box and i'll timestamp this so that it's easy for you to like you know sync it and watch the original video alongside my reaction so yeah let's start then uh this is i don't know what it, it's written it's written in japanese i think um fate grand order uh amv yeah let's go let's get started here we go wow this song is okay i've i've not heard this song like usually most of the mv songs i've already heard but i've not heard this one All right. Ah. Uh, oh my god, this Ah, uh, Musashi. Wow, like looking back at it now, Olympus was a crazy ride. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. I can't wait for Lost Bell 6 to come. Oh boy, the all the sacrifices. Wow, this song is crazy. Oh my god, this song is really good. Wow. Oh, the black barrel. Oh my god. <laughs> Yep. Oh boy, this battle! I'll never forget <laughs> this this crazy battle. <laughs> oh wow, it's like all oh, it's like inked. Okay. Whoa. Yep, they are showing all the sacrifices that ah. Whoa. <laughs> this was so cool. The two battles, the two huge. Ah. Uh. the final CE that we get after everything ends oh my god okay that is the end first of all what is this song I, I I I don't see any song listed here okay 
Uh, can you let me know the original name of this song? Because is this the name of the song? Uh, the the portion that's written in Japanese. Let me check. Let me put it in the translator and interstellar city mountainous olympus the day to shoot down the god uh I, no no i don't think this is the name of the song oh maybe the one beside the mad no sorry kaishoku or sea color is that the name of the song i think so okay I'll, I'll probably check it out later this song was crazy oh my god this song was really good and most of the mvs that i watch you know most of the songs like i've heard them uh but this one this is like one the one song that i've not heard i think and like because I like in myself on my spare time I actually like you know like really like you know kind of listen to Japanese songs and everything. Not only the uh, opening uh, aim, uh, like openings of the AMVs, but for the actual artists I go and check out their like you know their all their songs. For example, Imer or uh, Lisa, you know all all these uh, like, you know Riona, all these like you know artists. Um, I actually go and check out all the other songs as well. That's why most of the AMVs that I watch, you know, the songs I've already heard, but I've not heard this one before. So yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. So and this song was really good. I'll I'll have to check this out later. Um okay, um that was about the song. The okay, as always, like I've watched uh, the the person that who made this this AMV. I think uh, his uh, channel's name is 88KS. Uh like I've listened to the f uh, other AMVs as well. A few of the other his uh, AMVs. I have to say that uh the way they sync the visuals with the audio is really nice i love it and uh, similar to this as well they were able to do this in in such a well mannered like you know in, in, in a way that it, it was really nice to see and uh, there was like happy parts sad parts pressing parts then again happy parts like <laughs> it went like this and oh boy like olympus was crazy um and uh, so many things you know so many things happened and uh, I, but I, I think I said this before in my playthrough as well like um, Olympus if I look at it in the whole story you know like, like the whole story if I look at the whole story I'll have to rate Atlantis higher than Olympus because Atlantis was such character driven that I was really astonished it was so character driven like every ep character had like a major growth happening to them which unfortunately in that scale it didn't happen in Olympus uh, few of the characters got really good character development uh, but you know like the way Atlantis did it it was crazy so looking at it from looking like, you know, at the whole looking at the whole thing I'd have to rate Atlantis for the story and the character driven plot higher but Olympus was crazy in its own way you know the whole thing with Musashi the uh, revelations in the end the whole thing with you Olga Mari and uh, Beryl betraying, we get to know um, uh, Woodheim's past, all that thing, all these things, uh, the, the relationship between uh, Kenis and Woodheim, while like, you know, like the whole thing with uh, Zeus, you know, all these things, uh, it, it, was, it was like, a, what, what can I say, like, it was like a, like a sudden outburst of craziness. And like, you know, especially towards the end, like towards the end, everything started happening one by one by one, and it was crazy. So in that way, uh, Olympus is definitely, like, I mean, you know, because of the revelations and all that, uh, it definitely rates higher in that department. So it's close, you know, like Atlantis, Olympus, these two are, like, you know, in my opinion, very close in their, like, you know, if I had to rate them. But I'd still rate Atlantis a little bit higher because I am, what can I say, like, I love character-driven plot. And I feel like Atlantis was able to do that so amazingly. While Olympus in itself was character driven as well, but at the same time, its revelations and everything that was the main focus, you know, the revelations and all. So I'm, I'm like, you know, both of them are equally amazing. And uh, I, I really high, highly rate Olympus for the way it was able to, like, you know, put in so many surprising factors in the almost at the end of the story. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a great. It was a great journey, and the battles in itself are really crazy. Uh, I have to rate uh, Olympus's um, battles a lot higher than Atlantis. Atlantis battles were, I guess, fine. You know, in the end, it was a little bit difficult, but Olympus's battles were crazy. I'll never forget. I'll never forget Demeter fighting Demeter, and uh, <laughs> actually questioning myself that will I be able to do this. <laughs> so.
so yeah like you know because of the uh, fights and all olympus was crazy fantastic and uh, i never th- i never thought that i'd actually that, that day would come where i would say that oh the Olymp- like you know the battles were amazing because you know i played casually before i just threw my sand cards away <laughs> whenever i lost <laughs> just to revive so as soon as it started doing doing youtube i stopped that so i never thought before that, I, that a day would come where i would actually say like oh the battle was so crazy that in the end after defeating that person it felt so fulfilling and there you go if you don't use your sqs or command spells after defeating the certain character you get a, a sense of accomplishment <laughs> and fulfillment <laughs> if you just use uh, your same parts and command spells to just you know just revive and do the thing it won't give you that <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it. That was another new emotion, I guess, that I was able to discover from this uh, law spell because the battles were really crazy. <laughs> and I was able to do them without spending any SQs or any command spells. So yeah, that's another thing that I have to say, like another new experience I had. Um, the story, my god, really good. Uh, the whole thing with Musashi, I cannot, I still cannot believe it. And as I said before, like... <laughs> I've seen a lot of people say that, yeah, Musashi is gone, she's not coming back, but I won't, like, you know, I won't get my hopes up, but at the same time, I will also not let my hopes, like, you know, completely just disappear as well, you know, like, I'm not expecting anything, but at the same time, I'm expecting something as well, so that's basically my opinion on Musashi, um, while, oh, the, the, the ending was sad, you know, like, the whole thing with, oh my god, oh, another thing, which I'll also never forget, uh, Woodheim's backstory. I don't know. Like you know, I feel like the Woodheim's backstory that section was the part that really um, was the highlight for Lost Belt uh, Five Olympus. At least for me. Like you know, I have not seen people talk much about uh, Woodheim's backstory. You know, the whole thing with the child who helped him. You know, I've not seen much people talk about it. People talked about how Bell, uh, uh, yeah, how Bell betrayed uh, Woodheim, all that stuff. How Woodheim was such a great character, this and that. I've heard all of them. You know, a lot of people discussing about them as well in the like, you know, in the different parts of the internet. But I've never heard much people talk about his backstory with the little kid. For me, I have to say the backstory of the little kid was the main, um, uh, main. Uh, what do you, what do you call that? Uh, the main point, like the, the, like the main uh, highlight, highlight, yeah, I just said that, I forgot. The main highlight of this story, because it was amazing. I, I really, I was really not expecting a twist like that, where we would get to see that the child was actually sacrificing his own safety and his own hunger to feed someone he just saw because he thought that that person was beautiful, his eyes were beautiful. To protect something beautiful, he was able to sacrifice himself, which is crazy. And it it really makes me realize that the Chaldeans are also doing the same thing. Like, to protect something beautiful, which is the world, they're sacrificing something. So, like, it's the same thing that they're doing. For Wodaim, it was that little child who actually gave him, like, you know, like, such a, you know, lesson that he probably would have never gotten if he didn't get shot at that moment. You know, he probably would have been that one of those normal, rich, uh, like, you know, what do you call it, pompous uh, aristocrats. But that one encounter changed his whole life. And that one child who had nothing was able to change someone who had everything. And, uh, like, that was crazy. I feel like that was the highlight of this show for me. Like, that, that little backstory, that little backstory with the child was the best in my opinion, in, in, in the whole uh, story. And uh, as I said, I've not seen many, much people talking about that part, but I feel like that, that, that the beauty of that part was something that, that was so good in Olympus that I'll never be able to forget it. Like, it was crazy. It, it was just crazy. And uh, yeah, and obviously, I, we all hate Beryl. I don't know if he's going to get some character development in Lost Bell 6, but unless and until he gets that, I'll keep hating him. And I don't think any kind of character development can change the whole thing. Uh, like the fact that he backstabbed um, Wodine and all that. So yeah, can't wait to beat him up in Lost Bell 6. But that's going to come a lot later. <laughs> we'll have to wait. Anyways, that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was uh, the first uh, Olympus AMV that I reacted to. I think there's a few others that are still uh, have been recommended to me, Olympus AMVs. I'm going to react to them uh, within like you know a few days. And uh, yeah, when I'll have time, I'll react to them one by one. 
And as I said, if you want to recommend me more uh, AMVs or more fate stuff, uh, comment down below. And then I'll, I keep them saved in my, like, you know, uh, in the list. And uh, little by little, I actually watch all of them. So, yeah, I will watch them if you recommend something eventually. It might take time, but I will. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to set, uh, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and any recommendations you have um yeah i'll check them out so yeah thanks for watching i will see you guys uh in a few more days with another uh, fg or fate stuff that i will react to so, yeah until then goodbye and have a nice day